Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Hubbard versus Watson Jr. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Hubbard, you've petitioned the court for a DNA test to prove to Mr. Watson Jr. that he is the father of your two-year-old daughter, Amiria Hubbard. Yes, sir. yes, Your Honor. You're also seeking two years' worth of child care expenses in the amount of $2,150. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Watson, you say you know you are not the father of Ms. Hubbard's daughter because she lied to you about her entire pregnancy and only now wants to claim you as the father. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Hubbard, did you lie about your pregnancy? No, Your Honor. I told Mr. Watson when I got pregnant, when I conceived, when the last time we did have sex with each other, and that was in February of 2012, and I had her in November of 2012, and he knew about her the whole, the whole pregnancy. He didn't come around until, like, when I was in the hospital with her. That's the only time he was around. So if you say he knew about her, has he been helping you? No, ma'am. You're suing for $2,150 because you say he has not contributed. No, he hasn't contributed to anything. He hasn't done anything for her. The so nothing. You're doing this by yourself? Yes, ma'am. I'm taking care of my five children and my disabled mother by myself. And How hard has it been for you? Very hard. I see the tears in your eyes. Yes, very hard. Oh, stop it. The, uh, the, uh, when I was pregnant with her, um, he came around and uh, he was supposed to give me some money because I had took him somewhere. He didn't want to give me them, uh, some gas money to take me in. To t when I took him somewhere for her, that was the last time that I seen him while I was pregnant with her. And I had, I maced him. You maced him? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Why? I was mad. I was pregnant. I'm at her by myself, struggling. Didn't have any gas in my car. And he, he asked me to take him somewhere. I took him. And he got out the car. He was laughing, talking about, um, I ain't gonna give you no gas, man. I ain't got nothing for you. So when he uh, went in the store, he came back out. I had my can of mace, and I made some from his hair line to his feet. Oh, my goodness. You know, that's, that, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Very um, dangerous. Although, listen, what you're saying is you're so desperate for money and you're feeling so overwhelmed that when he said he wasn't going to give you the gas money, he said that just upset you so much mm -hmm. that you... It wasn't even about that. He played the whole game. Like, he wanted to be there with me while I was pregnant with her. And he, he played the whole game the whole time I knew him. The whole back and forth game. He doesn't... He, he has two, uh, two other children he, he, he does yeah, for her, but not mine. She he doesn't... Lie. He hasn't done anything for mine. Never, never have. She sold my clothes. Never will. Yeah, I did say your clothes. Your, your baby... Your baby that's up there right now, you left an outfit, I sold it. To somebody I, that, on the corner that ain't for $100. My baby. That ain't my baby. Okay. Hold on. Let me understand this. You say that Mr. Watson hasn't done anything for Amiria. Yeah. Mr. Watson, is that true? Have you done anything for this child? No, ma'am, I haven't done anything for nothing. this child. You admit you've done nothing? Yes, ma'am. Why is that, sir? Because I don't think this is my baby. You don't. It's not my baby. Cause she lied. But your family had dates. sex with Miss Hubbard. But her family right? members. Right. But she did lied you use her. protection? No, ma'am. But this was way before. And she his lied. family members. She lied about her dates that she was his pregnant. His family members. She told me she my... was three months pregnant. Three months. And she was supposed to be six months pregnant. So how and you I told three you months it... pregnant two times? And three, I told you. All right. Let me months. understand that because you're saying you don't believe it's your child because there's an issue with that you don't trust concerning the conception period? Right. Explain that to okay, me. Okay, I got, I got reasons. I got a reason why a uh, calendar I made. Let me see yes, this. Yes, Jerome, there would you, you hand that to me? She what does lied. this calendar outline? Did that ain't my baby? <laughs> okay, okay yes. I don't know if a calendar can prove that, right. but Let's... the DNA will. That's... Okay, like, uh, I, when she when she told I got me she pregnant, was pregnant, February it was in August. 14, it was in August when she I Okay, her... one at a time, one at a time. And I'm going to give you both... I'm going to give you both a chance. Let him explain to me what his calendar outlines, Ms. Hubbard, and then I will give you a chance to respond. Sir... Oh. On this calendar, you say she told you she was three months pregnant... Right. ...in August. Right. And then you say in October, she told so, you she was three months pregnant again? Again, yes. <laughs> so I'm like, 
Who does that? Why, why should I believe that's my baby? Oh, but that's God. a lot of months to be three months that's pregnant. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. He exactly. don't even know. Ms. Harper, that's... can you explain this? No. Because I stay with when my When I period. went to the doctor in March, when I missed my period for the next month, they told me I could see it on Valentine's Day. And I had my baby November the 17th, 2012. But in October, when you told him you were pregnant the second I didn't, time... I didn't tell him in October I was pregnant. I never she told did. him in October I was pregnant. But you would have been about ready to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, he's lying. I told him, when I knew for sure that I was pregnant in March, that's when I told him that I was pregnant. You Did she say she was pregnant in March? I told she him... She told me August. I, now, I got a call from her. No. I was staying with my girl. No. I got a call from you her. You were staying she with my mama. You ain't never stayed with my girl. She told me that she mom. was pregnant. She was three months pregnant. I was like, oh, okay, so I know she probably be pregnant because we did have unprotected sex, so I rolled with it. Okay, so uh, September, she sold me an ultrasound. And the ultrasound, she was been what, about four months? Ultrasound looked like the baby was like about ready to come out. No. Like seven months. <laughs> so I'm like, no. you cannot be no four months. No. Look at that baby head. When that, that was, I was looking at them, um, that's how they, no, that ain't that's four so, months old. no. When Wait you, a minute, this is a picture of the ultrasound. Yeah. Yeah, that she saw me. I believe it was somebody else no. ultrasound. She I was four, I was to, four and a half. That was the first time she told me I was four and a half pregnant. months pregnant on that pitch, and that's when they zoom in to see how your baby's uh, growing and maturing and see if you, are, if you at your right stage. That's her when I was four and a half months pregnant. But she showed me the ultrasound when I she showed told me you she another was pregnant ultrasound. the first time when she was lying about it. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So you feel like she was lying? The whole time. And her motive to lie is what? Because she wanted to have a baby by me. Who are you? She told me. You don't have no money. You're not me. even taking care she of her, is it? He told me he wanted me to be, be his baby mama. He really liked me. No. That's how it started. Really? Is that wanted... what they say now when you really like somebody? Yeah, that's what he that's said. That's how she do it. That's, that's how what he said. Women. Was um, this I an guess. exclusive relationship? Did you all say we're committed? We're boyfriend no. and girlfriend? Yeah, we was together. No. We was together, but he was still cheating. He, he a dog. He Only time cheating. I wanted to be He still had females. Okay. He was living in a room house with a female. He still had females. He talking about that he just his friend. I used to stay catching him, but like, after, um, when I caught him, after we had sex on Valentine's Day, it, I was done. I was she, over it. It wasn't lying. even worth it. I was staying with my girl. You ain't August, never stayed with no girl. She told me she was pregnant. I stayed with my girl in August. Whatever. And, okay, I was like, cool, okay, she pregnant. Nah. But in October, she told me she was no. six months pregnant. No, I didn't. I mean, she I ain't never three months see, pregnant, so how you lying. six months pregnant? You lying. I'm at three months pregnant again. Okay, what I'm trying to understand is, do you think you were the only man she was sleeping with? No. What makes you believe okay, I got, that there was someone else? I got reasons, right, room? A diary. And oh, what, what is that? It's a diary. You found a diary and a you diary. created it? I was a teenager right, when yeah, I had the diary. It's, uh, about. I was at her house one you day. You know how you... Don't hand me that. What is that? It's a diary. Right, and she too old to have a diary. Now, <laughs> go ahead. Okay, so... They let you know... So you was... This is a diary that you found? I was in her room one no. day. You know, she was in the shower. And, I, and, and the we... diary was on her dresser. So I was like, I ain't want to look at it because, you know, it's a diary. Might hurt my feelings. So Temptation told me to go and look at it. I went on and looked at it. First page, I see she was talking about her first love. Ooh, ooh, that, and uh, I flipped to another page. It had a condom pack on it. And explaining the dude that she had sex with, how his sex was and everything. OK, I flipped to another page. Flipped to another one. another condom pack. Right there, so oh, like, on the diary. Right. Okay, let me flip through. Uh, the diary, the diary that he's referring that that he's referring to. I had that diary when I was like 15 to 16 in my younger it days. Be put up, when man. I had boyfriends and I was having sex with them and I had protected sex with them. It don't matter. It's mine. You in my? That's mine. You take and the condom young. wrappers in the diary. Yeah. I was young doing Who stuff. Does stuff. So. And then you did a rating. No, I didn't do no rating. No. She did it right. It no. says Stop that it. it says this guy got a yes she with an freak. exclamation he, he, <laughs> She a freak. He's adding so. He adding so. Well, she you know, freak. he ain't in there. He ain't getting no yes because he wasn't even worth it. She's a freak. That's all. Oh, and some and of the pages stuck together. I'm done with this. <laughs> um, then I ain't even. <laughs> uh, yeah. Who keeps... So, Mr. Watson. This. This led you to believe that he. She's a freak. This <laughs> so when you thought she was 
sleeping with other people, you see the diary, and then you say the timeline doesn't add up. Yep. In your mind, when you I say to yourself, teenager. this can't be my child. Right. That's the basis of your doubt. <clears throat> right. Because the, uh, the, 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 the calendar and the diary. The diary, the diary was from when I was a teenager. A I met you when I was, was grown. Freak. So she a freak. I had three kids when I met you. What is Who does talking that? about? She's too old to even be keeping it down. When this I met him, I had three children. Really? It don't matter. You no, know, but that's what made me think that she was a freak. I was grown when I met you. I had three kids. But you're saying because your thought pattern, and this is not me talking, but your thought pattern was a woman that would keep this type of diary is not just sleeping with one person. Yes, Your Honor. So you found out you were pregnant and you told him. Yeah. He said he didn't believe the dates. Mm -hmm. So what did you do after that? Did you go to any of the doctor's appointments? You showed the ultrasound? Did you show up for that? No. She lied the first time. I didn't see him no more. Pregnant, I didn't see so him no more until so he asked me to do she his lied. hair and he came over there and he, uh, he had brought some clothes with him in my house to do his hair. So when I, uh, when he had left, he left his outfit. Then I, my baby, I ain't got time to bet her none. I said, ah, oh, okay, well, let me go on here and sell this little nice outfit. I sold his outfit to some dude up the street. $400, I got her merch. Since he didn't want to do it, I sold his so outfit. So you sold the outfit mm -hmm. he left behind at your house yep. for $100? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who does that? Somebody that's trying to take care of a child by themselves. But that ain't my well, baby, though. It ain't mine. Listen. At this point, if she has maced you for not giving her the gas money, you shouldn't be surprised that she's gonna sell your outfit yeah. right. to feed her child. Uh, By all means, I'm gonna make sure she's I'm not my baby. This ain't my baby. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. His Look family members even accept my baby, child. I have my head. He the only one that don't accept her. Well, that's because you lied. You been You're saying, so Ms. Hubbard, that this is upsetting you because you yes. say his whole family. Yes, and he keep a, fake crime. He keep her away. He don't even want her around his other kids. He don't even claim her. Sometimes he claim her on Facebook, then he get mad, then I'm his baby, then he make a show about it. But that's his child. Your Honor, I've been like, asking for a DNA like test. Like I told him, Every I don't even, I don't story. care if he there or not, I'm still gonna provide for her. Yes. All five, yes. all five yes. man. She been and dodged. I told him, when the last dodged, time I talked to him, I just told him to stay away from her because he not climbing her. He don't want to do nothing from her. So I don't want my baby to be confused, be like, where my dad is, why he ain't being around. Just leave her alone. I mean, I'm doing this by myself. All five of them. I don't need no more stress, no more nothing. I have a sick five-year-old, and my mama is this then one day, one day, she talked to a dude straight in my face. Yeah, the same he day that he done and... me. The same day that I called him talking on the phone with the girl, I right. dropped... Talking, we stopped you at the gas station. Right in my face. We stopped at the gas station, and some dude asked me for my number. Yep, I gave him my number just to show him. I'm not ugly. You're a freak. I can get somebody. Now it ain't about being a freak. That was, he was a man. You not a man. You want to even take care of your responsibility. That's show that right, Mr. Watson... She's telling you she is really struggling. Mm -hmm. And you could potentially be this child's father. Right. Now, you still coming over there to get your hair braided? Amongst other things, I'm sure. And, Your Honor, he still, mm -hmm. he and still asked me to come... He still asked me to bring, him, bring her to him. He still wants oh, to... He been watching her. He watches her. He been watching her since she's been born, like... But probably about five or six she times. She so don't even spend the night over she there with him. So much for her not to be your child, why are you asking me to bring her to you? Why are you keeping her? Why are you spending time with her? Well, he's saying you you say you keep the baby because you feel sorry for the no, baby she, or no, for Miss Hubbard? For Miss Hubbard. You ain't got to feel sorry for me because she's Cause straight. Because she's crying to her, this your baby, matter. this your baby. You don't have to feel I'm asking for a DNA test. Ever you since... asked for a DNA test. Right. When? But like, when she was pregnant... He could have went down there and hit When she lied about them dates, she lied about them dates, and every time she asks me to do something for her, I ask for a DNA test. She keep dodging it. How many times have you tried to get a DNA test? Well, I asked her over like 30 times. Well, we've done that test, and I do have the results. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for them? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Jerome? <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Hubbard versus Watson Jr., pertaining to two-year-old Amiria Hubbard, it has been determined by 
this court. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. Mr. Watson, you are Amiria's father. Debbie, Debbie. Mm -hmm. Like I told you. Nope. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I promise I am. I just always had doubt, man, because you've been lying on them dates. I'm straight. You've been lying on them dates. And I'm willing to take care of her. I'm out with my other two kids. I promise you. I'm straight. I promise you. I've been doing this by myself. Girl, you better get some help from your child's father. Stop acting like that. I'm sorry. You're not straight. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I know it's been a hard road, Miss Hubbard. It's been two long years. That's exactly why this court exists. You owe her. You owe her them two years. Okay, I got you. I you got don't you. just owe her those two years. You also owe Miss Hubbard, Mr. Watson, half of what she has been paying to provide for this child. Yes, Your Honor. To date, it has taken her $4,300. The only thing she ever got from you was an outfit that you left behind that she had to sell to provide milk and diapers for your baby girl. Now, that's a desperate mother. Yeah. I'm going to give her credit for what she did to take care of your child. The $100 she got, I will deduct that from what you should have contributed, which is half. My award is for the plaintiff in the amount of $2,050. Now, you got on my nerves today. <laughs> I'm going to commend you, though. You had an instinct to run to her and say, I'm sorry. That's the first thing you said out of your mouth. And I want to tell you, that is such a great style. Talk to each other yes, and yes, keep working together. All right? Yes, yes Your Honor. I wish you the very best of luck. Court is adjourned. Thank you.